Hello, I'm Nikita with Advanced Business Systems, and in this video, we're going to go through the features of your Canon Image Pro Brad TZ30000. To leverage the machine's functionalities for greater productivity and workflow efficiencies, let's begin the copy screen. Once your document is loaded into the feeder, select your desired copy settings here and hit the start button. As you see, you have a nice display here on the screen of your copy job. Now for the next function, we have scanning. Once you have your drawing loaded into the feeder here, go ahead and select your scanner icon. Similar to the copy screen, you can go ahead and make those selections that you wish to use for your job and hit the start button. As you see, another preview will display here on the screen as your drawing is going through the feeder. You also have another function here on your screen, which is the copy and archive option. This will allow you to both copy and scan a document simultaneously, which will provide you with greater workflow efficiencies. The print icon here on the screen only allows you to print documents that have been saved to the device. The most common use for printing is gonna be done directly from your computer. Once you have your print driver option up, as you see, you have the different setting tabs across the top. Go ahead and make the selections of what you need, select OK, and hit Print. Once your print job is complete, you can go ahead and remove your document from the top stacker. Go ahead and hold both sides of your document and pull up. You also have another option of printing to your front stacker. You must first go ahead and assemble your front stacker. Go ahead and open up, find your two board pieces here, and attach it right into your front panel. The plotter can also print different materials and therefore provides you with more options in printing with greater production output. And as you see, your document printed out of your front stacker. Now I will show you how to change the paper. As you notice here, next to your tray options, there is a paper indicator light that will show you your level of your paper and if you have run out of paper. To load your paper, simply load your paper roll here on your tray door and shut the door. Once your display panel here indicates that it's time to change your ink, the ink cartridges is located here. You're gonna lift the cover up as you see, you have this blue lever where you're going to simply pull up and out. Drop your new cartridge into the slot here. Close your lever, lock that in, and you're good to go. And there you have it. If you have any additional questions, give us a call here at Advance. 